à droite. I think we're cool there. But we're standing in front of the Art Slice Museum. Okay. And we're here. We're at the door. We're walking on through. Are we bringing these two paintings with us to put in the Art Slice Museum with its free snacks, its free nap pods, its suspended hammocks, its vegetable garden that you can you know, freely take any vegetables or fruits from? Are they going in the museum? Yeah. They are not. They're not? No. Okay. Why? They're not quite there. Yeah. They're just not there yet. They were studies. I disagree. Really? Yeah. I don't think they're good. I think it shows an artist that even a huge name like Van Gogh is influenced by other artists, can be permanently changed by looking at art and not stealing from that art, but learning from that art. So while I don't think it would be in the main wing of the Art Slice Museum, I might have it in like an educational wing. Do we have one of those yet? Expansion? Is it time to expand? sounds like we're about to expand. (laughs) Would he even would he even have wanted that on a wall on display? Maybe not. I think it was for him. You might be right. He's working through it. I'm not Van Gogh, but I wouldn't want my studies out on a wall. True. I think this was for him. I think it shows that he's human though. I think we we talk these artists up at, you know in museums everywhere you go. These these are these are geniuses. Van Gogh's like br- a brilliant genius, a misunderstood genius whose yeah. life was too short, right? Yeah. And we don't fully understand the vulnerability of artists as they learn and as they find their footing. I think most people who walk into a museum just think, oh, shit, these these people are just born with it. They're not like coming out of the womb, like able to draw like Michelangelo or whatever. Right. You know what I'm saying? They're, they're, they, they stumble. They like hit their toe in the dark, you know. Mm-hmm. And sometimes I think it's nice to see that they're human. And really what separates somebody like Van Gogh is that they... They keep an investigative mind open. They look at the world around them. They let influence kind of wash over them. And they they process that influence and they let it change them. They don't steal. They process. I feel really bad. Why do you feel bad? Because. I'm not trying to make you feel bad. No, I know you're not. I'm just like, well, no, well, now I'm like trying to walk back what I said. But at the same time, I don't. Do museums consider what the artist would have wanted? Would, Would Van Gogh have wanted this piece out? On display. I probably wouldn't want mine out. He probably wouldn't, but I think if he heard you say what you just said, he'd be like, okay, yeah, this might inspire someone Mm -hmm. to not be afraid to struggle, not be afraid to be vulnerable, to be open-minded and be okay with making mistakes because it's going to lead you to make better work. So (laughs) let's build an educational wing of the Art Slice Museum. Yeah, I like that. I like that better. All right. Okay. We'll throw it in there somewhere. And listeners, we would love to uh, be given the tour of your education wing at your Art Slice Museum. So let us know what you thought about this piece. Let us know if it would go in your educational wing, if it would go in